Tim Hodges and Bob Parlocha coming to you live from Lisco, San Francisco's delightful subterranean restaurant specializing in Mediterranean cuisine. We have a real treat for you right now. Freddie Red's trio, who performs here quite often, uh, happens to be with us tonight, and we're going to take you right now to the bandstand. Freddie Red here on K-Jazz, on Dinner Jazz. <laughs> Thank you. 
Freddie Red, live from Lascaux at 248 Sutter Street in San Francisco. Back to the man stand. Thank you. 
Pretty Red. Coming to you live from Lascaux at 248 Sutter Street in San Francisco. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Lascaux. It's, uh, it's underground. We're below street level here. As uh, we frequently bill it on K-Jazz, it's uh, a delightful subterranean restaurant and jazz club. And once you walk down the stairs, you certainly get the cavernous feel from the way uh, the decor is laid out. It's a lot larger than I imagined it was. It is. It, it, it's quite large. You can, uh, you can watch the chefs at work from uh, most seats here in the restaurant, which is kind of fun to do. A lot of great uh, Bay Area jazz folks uh, play here on a very regular basis, like Freddie Red's Trio tonight, uh, which, by the way, featured Bill Langwa on bass and Larry Hancock on drums. We'll be talking with Freddie a little later in the evening. Eddie and Madeline Duran are here on a regular basis. Uh, Larry Dunlap is here. Joyce Cooling, T. Carson, Jeff Pitson. Uh, John Watala, Kevin Gibbs, just kind of looking down the rest of the month here. Uh, it's a great place for food and an excellent setting for live jazz as well here at Lisco. We should let people know they have live jazz here every night of the week that yes. they're open. Yes, indeed. Yes, uh, and the music generally starts right around 6 o'clock. We're going to take you back to the bandstand now. At the uh, piano, the great Freddie Red, Bill Langwa, the bassist, and Larry Hancock on drums, all on K-Jazz. Dinner Jazz Live. <laughs> Thank you. 
Freddie Wett and Trio coming to you live from Lascaux at 248 Sutter Street 
in San Francisco. Freddie's wetting his thirst a little bit, and I think he's going to uh, cut loose again here. Yeah, I almost had him in the reflection. <laughs> <laughs>
Coming to you live from Lascaux at 248 Sutter Street in San Francisco on the jazz station KJAZ, Alameda, San Francisco.
Freddie Red at the piano and trio, Bill Langlois, the bassist, and Larry Hancock on drums. This is live from Lascaux in San Francisco on the Jazz Station. We're going to have the opportunity, I do believe, to chat with uh, Freddie Red here in just a second. Freddie's pulling up a microphone, and we're going to put some headsets on him here. Freddie Red joining us. He has a copy of uh, recording that we play a heck of a lot of live at the Studio Grill. And uh, Freddie has been on, on KJAZZ before. You were on Stan Dunn's Piano Player Show a couple months back. That's right, when I first got into the area. Mm -hmm. how, how, how's things been for you here in the Bay Area since you've gotten, gotten settled? Uh, they've been, uh, there's been a lot of movement here, you know. I like that. You know, I like movement. <laughs> I like some action, you know. And uh, we, we're, we're uh, creating some venues. My manager, I have a manager now. That's interesting. I didn't have that when I first met you. <laughs> Very interesting gentleman, fine person, uh, Mr. Tim Patterson. And he's here with us tonight. You have uh, something new, I understand, coming out on record and CD here in the, in, uh, the very short future. Yeah, that's a uh, thing I uh, did on Fantasy. I think it's going to be Milestone, actually. You know, Part of their product line. Yeah, part yeah. of their product line. A uh, real fun thing to do. I enjoy playing with the artists that, that, uh, that I used on there. Teddy Edwards, uh, Phil Ramelin, trombonist. Teddy Edwards on 10, of course. And Curtis Pegler on alto saxophone. I am, of course, Bill, my trio, Bill Langlois and um, Larry Hancock on drums. And uh, it was just a lot of fun. Excellent players. Did you record that over in Berkeley at their studios? Yeah, we did it at Berkeley. We have a wonderful piano there. Nice piano in the studio, too. And when is that actually going to be uh, released to the public? It's my understanding that it's going to uh, be the end of this month. End of this month. Uh, yes. And and do we have a name for the uh, the new recording? Well, we certainly do. It's it's entitled "Everybody Likes a Winner." <laughs> <laughs> you can draw your own conclusions. From that. <laughs> you, <know. laughs> you were um, you took a lot of time off uh, from the music scene for for a period there. That is uh, that is admit, that's misinformation. You never take off time from <laughs> music. <laughs> it may take off time from you. Oh, okay. You know? And we only hope the muse is there when we need them. You know, not even when we want them, just when we need them. You know. And uh, no, I never stopped. It was just that I became a little obscure because I mean I, I like to move around, and uh, I never I was never too concerned about. Um, what I was leaving behind or something. I was always interested in what was, you know, where I was going to, you know. And it just, uh, I'm, I'm a traveling type person, anyway, a traveler. And so, you know, when you move out, probably the phone call that I, I needed, like, came maybe, you know, a month after I left, they couldn't find me or something. <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, you seem to you seem to be regularly uh, showing up on the on the jazz line that we have, which means you're getting a lot of gigs here in the Bay Area. That's that's good. That's a yeah, good sign. Yeah, it is. It really is because that's that's where how we well aside from the fact how we survive, you know, uh, physically, you know, it's how we survive uh, spiritually. And, you know, that's our thing. You know, I that's what I'm here for. You know, I enjoy this music very much. It, it certainly comes across in your playing. Too. I'm glad because I'm having a good time. I just hope you know other people enjoy it too. Oh, I, I would say from the reaction here in the house tonight, that, that's oh, definitely yeah, the case. Oh yeah, we're talking about here. Yeah, yeah. Now you you play this venue fairly regular. Yeah, my friend Dick Conti. We uh, we were old friends from, from way back, and I came into town, and he knew I was here. Found out I was here. I mean, in, in Bay Area, and uh, he uh, does the, the booking, and also he's a very fine pianist himself. And he uh, uh, sort of got me to work here, you know, and I really appreciate it. You know, I do it at least twice a month. You know. Do you have Do you have any other uh, gigs outside of Lisco that we can keep an eye out for you? Uh, at the moment, no. Uh, Tim Patterson and myself we're, we're working on some uh, some projects right now. You know, that they're pretty exciting to us. And you know, we're going to New York, by the way, um, on the 13th, I believe, isn't it, Tim? 13th of this month. Uh, we're going to do uh, the Jackie McLean's uh, master class up in Hartford, which I really uh, love doing that. Have you done some instructing like that before? No, it's not really instructing in a way. I mean, I feel that the best way in this music is to cheat by example, you know. And then if somebody says, how did you do that? Then I think that's it because it's so hard to interpret things from the paper, you know. And you really need some artist in residence somewhere that can kind of help to decipher things for people, you know, in a very oral type, traditional way, you know. Jackie's been at that a long time. He does a great job back there. Let me tell you, I never knew Jackie had that in him, you know. He, he's just, 
he just turns. Uh, he's such a beautiful administrator, and he and he's he's got that kind of um, a quality that he can. You know, he really, people really rally around him. You know, they know he's sincere in what he does, and and he's coming from. You know, like his base is music. Obviously, you know that's where his soul is, and that just exudes from him in everything he does. And that's why I, I love and admire him so much, you know. He's, he's helped a lot of young cats along over oh, the years, too. Oh, tremendous, tremendous. And he was a young guy himself, so he knows. He came up to the ranks. Yeah, he, did it the hard way. He did it uh, when people took him under the wing, you know. And, and that's the way it is. That's the way you pass it on. You know? When was the last time that you actually performed in New York? In New York, let me see. That had to be, wait a minute, it wasn't that long ago. But I think it was, oh, gee, I, I've been out here now this time for at least three or four years. Yeah, about five years I think I've been out here, and on the West Coast. And um, I can't exactly recall. So they're ready for you. Oh, I tell you, I'm ready for them. You know, <laughs> I, I hope they're ready for me because uh, I'm ready in terms of you know uh, the music. You know, I I feel just marvelous. You know, like this area has really, San Francisco has a very, is a very special area. There's yeah. there's kind of a creative spark here. I, Boy, there's a plethora of, of talent and uh, just um, there's so much to to draw on, you know, like just the environment itself is such a bonus, you know, like in New York, unfortunately, if there's a patch of green, there's at least two million New Yorkers on it at all times, you know, so <laughs> I don't mean to, print, uh, to paint a bizarre picture of New York, but I think you know what I mean. I'm talking about space and, you know, comfort and beauty and all that. You know. I, th I think attitude. I, th I think of that Leon Thomas, Oliver Nelson tune, Welcome to New York. I don't know. <laughs> it kind of kind of puts New York in, in a perspective from a West Coaster's oh, mind okay. anyway. But it, we don't need to get into that <laughs> right Okay, <now>. sure. <laughs> Freddie, thank you so much for uh, dropping by the, uh, the KJAZ microphones hey, here this thank evening. thank you so much. And thanks for al allowing us to broadcast your, your sets here this evening wow. at Let's Go. I'm glad you're here. You gave me an opportunity to... Uh, 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 express myself to uh, the city and you know and, and the K-Jazz fans. We'll, Thank you. We'll uh, we'll get you back uh, if if you're up to getting getting out of bed real early some morning come over and, and hang out on Stan Dunn's piano I got news for you. Again. I get out of bed early every morning. R no yeah, kidding. Yeah. No kidding. I'm a very early riser. Do you you look like you're in great shape? Do you jog or work out? No, or? I don't do that. I just keep a, a clear head, you know, and I I, I find that helps quite a bit. Yeah. Good good way to live. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. We'll keep an eye out for uh, what was about the winner? Oh, the name of the, the everybody album. Likes everybody a likes a winner. Keep yeah. an eye and an ear. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> Freddie okay. Red. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we look forward to the next set here in a few minutes. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. Thank you. 
Freddie Red and Trio, live from Lisco in San Francisco on the jazz station KJAZ, Alameda, San Francisco.
Freddie Red and Trio. Bill Langlois on bass and Larry Hancock, the drummer, coming to you live from Lisco in San Francisco. Well, I, I've uh, just gotten started on my appetizer here, which is delicious. And I'll give you a full report on uh, the entree tomorrow. <laughs> I guess that just about winds it up for us. We want to thank Peggy O'Brien, the manager here at Lesko, and Betty Beidebeck, who does the publicity for having us out here. And yes, Betty is distantly related to Bix. The question of the evening. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to uh, Kevin Reed for holding things down back at the fort, to Doug Irwin for transmission facilities, Robert... Jake. Robert Jay Berenson. Klausenstock, we're setting it up. <laughs> Robert Berenson, of course. Our uh, man, Thursday, not Friday. You're getting there, Robert. You'll be Friday someday, but it's Thursday at the moment. Well, thanks to you, Tim Hodges, for just being yourself. <laughs> and you too, Robert. Thank you. I think we'll just um, we'll just tell you that, that this is KJAZ Alameda, San Francisco, and let's let Freddie Red finish it up tonight. Mm -hmm. 